going on guys it's your boy this is ace live and it's now time for me to show you where i've been staying in bogota okay this area right here is called chapinero alto centro it's a really nice area right here guys and this building is one of their modern buildings it newly made as you can see compared to the buildings next door here it's a really chill place a lot of bars here matter of fact there's a bar in that corner right there so i think it's a colombia a medellin bar right there so there's a lot of stuff you can do in the area i think this is like a hipster spot but anyways i'm here to show you how this place looks if you want to stay here it's a really dope place i want to say shout out to the management for reaching out to me inviting me to stay here all right i'm gonna put all the information in the description just in case you want to book your place here without further ado let's get the show on the road all right they opened the door for me gracias <laughs> But I wanted to show you something, right? They give you a key once you stay here. And so you can open it by tapping here and it open up. See? All right. And in order to leave as well, you can see some hip people right here. It's a really cool area here, right? And then you could just tap this right here and it opens up again, right? It's really dope. Okay, once you walk in, you're gonna walk up here and you will see your reception all right welcome <laughs> if you have any questions if you need any um thing these guys are very helpful they will help you get around the city maneuver they will give you recommendations on places to go they'll tell you where not to go that's very important you're basically going to get the insider information all right just to let you know about this place this place offers studio style apartments and some of them are hotel style or rooms so it's very diverse um, for my time being here, I noticed that not one room is the same, similar, but <laughs> they're all kind of different and unique. So that's one of the dope things about being here. If you stay here long enough, maybe you can switch from one room to the next. Each room has its advantages. And I think we'll start up by going up to the top. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the top floor, all right? Okay. Just to show you how we do this. Oh, you already have a couple floors open. This one's open? That's one? All right, we'll go to this one first. All right. Check it in. Okay, this is like your hostel style room. You walk in. The, the beds are comfortable. And let me tell you, the beds, showers, super hot. I know you're wondering it's gonna be cold in Bogota. Um, how are you to survive? You'll be all right. Let me open this window up. Give you a little bit of views. All right. A little cloudy today. Like some bright sun over there, a little cloudy. It'll dissipate and then you got some more blue skies. But this view is awesome. Waking up to this view and just seeing people running, running up and down, gets you ready for the day. You know, you, you, based off of this, you could tell you were in a very safe, calm area. <laughs> But not only that, guys, you're walking distance, and I have to keep reiterating that to a lot of hip spots, restaurants, bars, places where you can find local activity. So that is the best part about staying here, all right? Sometimes you stay close to the tourism activity, you might disconnect from what is really Bogota. So sometimes it's better to stay off tourist areas just a little bit, just to get that authentic feel for the city. One thing I wanted to show you is these TVs here really dope all of them all the rooms have it and then they have a hdmi section here right if you need to uh, connect like your chromecast or maybe your laptop the uh, workstation area really nice this is beautiful it's the first time in this room all right we're gonna go up i think up so we can see probably maybe a 
a little bit higher view point, but you can see like mountains from here. Super dope. I know a lot of you guys have some questions and I'll start answering them at the end of this video, okay? You gotta watch the end. This room right here, okay? All right. Enter another room. This one's, as you can see, more floor space. Nice bathroom right here. This one is has its own kitchen. So you, if you, just in case you wanna cook something, you know what I mean? You can use your stove, uh, you know, fry some stuff up. I didn't really cook anything. I did use that to toast some stuff up. And then the microwave, of course, and then your refrigerator, if you have any um, juice, water, or things of that nature. And these, these come with a nice filter as well, so you could just purify your water. Uh, cable television. Um, in my room, I don't know if it was just my room, the television was already programmed to English, so that was a plus for me. All right, so move on forward. Okay, nice little area right here to um, connect your electronical thing, your cell phone. And there's another viewpoint of the city. Really dope. If you know, see, this right here is a park area. You see this? You can see that guy walking his dog. And so, like, early in the morning, there's a lot of people go running around there, young professionals. So it's a good area if you want to hang out with people. They play basketball on the corner over there. So if you're a baller, you think you can ball, just go to this park and hang out. Nice bathroom. As you can see, like I said, like each room is built a little bit differently. Where are we going next? Okay, we're going to this room. All right, guys. Now these are one of your exclusive rooms right here. A lot more spacious. Look, you have your kitchen right here, of course. What we've seen already, same amenities. You know, when you first check in, you'll get check in and then they'll go over the, the things that are here so you know. So normally they'll have like two of each thing, like two wine glasses, two cups, two um, shot glasses, cause you're gonna be using that of course, coffee, uh, pretty much everything. So it's like, if you were to be here for at least a month or something, this is an uh, advantage of staying in one of these places like that. Very comfortable. I can't speak enough about how comfy I've been staying here, right guys? Here's your little area, lounge area here, and if you're wondering, oh, la la. <laughs> oh, that's how you're doing it? Maybe you wanna just hang out with the boys, chilling, chilling with the boys, hanging out. All this light, this natural light comes inside, chilling. You have your little wine glass right here on there, watching the game, whatever's on. Just, just enjoying your time. And if you wanna be nosy, there's some hot women walking up this way with the dogs running around. <laughs> okay, so that's dope. And around that corner is a grocery store and also a coffee place that was open for, interesting for the holidays. Here and then around that bend right there, there's also another coffee, a lot of cafe places right here. So that just gives you the vibe and energy. The, the business is here. The people who enjoy that type of content stay in this area. Oh, you see, you, you, you see that? You see that? Oh, super, super dope. I enjoy that. And then hold on, let me just put the TV on this end because I got to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I can't go to sleep with a TV. You know what I mean? Awesome. And then look. You got your nice little area where you can put things, your drawers and stuff like that. Nice. And here, this is your bathroom area, right? See, different floor plan, your nice little shower, which is going to be hot. If there's one thing I can tell you, the water is going to be hot every time. So if you're traveling with kids, make sure you pay attention. We can talk about a little bit of pricing. You can find, depending on the season you come here, because everything is going to be seasonal. I hope you know this, but you can find some great deals here because you're not in a tourist destination. Tourist destination area, like Zona T area, you're going to be like paying a little bit more of a premium for something like this. But here, which is like maybe I would say on a taxi ride, maybe $10, not $10, like uh, four bucks, which is like 10 pesos, around that 10, 12 pesos, you can get from here to Zona T. And with, depending on the time, I'll be honest, depending on the time around 10, 12, 15 minutes, okay? But it's never gonna be over 20 minutes, but like 10 minutes or something like that. So it's not that far away pretty much. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is one of my favorite parts, um, the fourth floor, all right? And this is for people who just wanna be outside, fresh air. There's two areas you can be outside. This is one of the interesting places right here. Here we go. All right. 
Okay, here we go. All right, let's walk in. Wow. Nice tall ceilings. You got your nice kitchenette. Uh, you got, you know, the same thing we've been seeing, you know? You got your plates. Uh, you, you got your, you, basically, man, if you need to get down, you can get down. If you need to cook, you can cook. All right, you can open these windows up when it's time to cook. Yeah, all right. You see nice blue skies, a little cloudy right now. But, uh, oh, you can see the basketball court from here. So, you see what I'm talking about? They be balling there, man. They think they be balling, though. You know, you gotta give them that American be ball a little bit, though. <laughs> so, area for you to sit down and just pretty much zone into content, or if you got, if you work online, this is a, you know, a nice um, working area. All right, so let me give you an example. For me, I, it's very important for me to upload my content, and so I can't stay in a place where I'm not able to upload my content. I've been in Colombia this year for almost 11 months. I have encountered a lot of different Wi-Fi connection, internet connection, and here I have found some of the best internet connections in terms of upload, which is very important, all right? And let's go out here so you can also feel the vibe, okay? So this is a nice little cool area to hang out. Um, it can get real chilly here, but that's what it's for, to enjoy the weather, the outside ambiance. And if you've been watching me do my live streams pretty much, you'll see like this place will be beautiful. You'll see people running up and down. Um, the clouds are more blue than gray, but because of the time I'm filming, it's kind of great right now, but still beautiful area here. And um, here, this is a heater. So just in case it, you're out here late night with your friends and it gets a little bit too chilly, you're good. You know what I mean? You could just turn that on. You're good. Now, beforehand, they had these running, right? Where the flames will come out. So they're working on these to get these back in operational. So like if you're hanging out, you're here during the winter time, it's good. Boom. Me, I would come here and work on editing some footage because I was just bored inside my room and I wanted to be outside and just be nosy. So I'll stand right here and I just look at people walk around while I'm working on editing. And then you come over here, <laughs> you got a little lounge area. Now, obviously it was raining, that's where you see that. But let's say you were here and it was raining. You can actually ask the staff to open this awning for you and that way you're good. All right, or if it's too hot, because <laughs> it does get hot here, all right, guys? You see, I'm not wearing a sweater right now. You can actually have a sh some area for shade. Really good. Last time I was here, uh, it was like uh, some young chick came here. She was getting, like she was a writer, just getting her work on. You know, I thought she was trying to be nosy with me, but she, just, nah, she was just doing her thing. You know what I mean? And we were just, I was enjoying that, <laughs> okay? And I think these are other rooms. Todo está abierto. All right, so this is another one. I'm gonna just run, walk in real quick so you can see. Really good. Nice roofing. You're gonna get a good price. I wanna talk about pricing, guys. To be honest with you guys, pricing is always gonna be subject to change depending on season, all right? So I can't just tell you this place is gonna be 30 bucks. It could be 30 bucks today and maybe a different season it could it go higher or maybe lower so it's always good to double check so like i said all that information is going to be in the description i think uh, one of the investors he has a youtube channel and so i'm going to pin his comment uh, in uh in um the comments so just in case you want to check him out and see what's going on with him the cool brother it was interesting to get to know this gentleman because he's from the united states but he has decided to invest in property in colombia so i will pin his comment down in the comments make sure you go check out his channel out uh, just in case you're, you're curious about future investments and or you maybe want to book here and he can give you a discount make sure you say my name though okay as a matter of fact if you book just say my name all right say my name say my name a set you here okay you might get a good deal all right now let's go downstairs to where your boy is hanging out there's more downstairs downstairs guys right now how is that possible? 
possible. Yeah, because this um, hotel's built on a slant, so there is further room. So here's another thing to highlight. They have washing machines here, which is very useful if you're gonna be here for more than one week. You can wash your clothes. It's seven bucks for two hours. 20,000 pesos for two hours, all right, guys? Basically, when you come here, you're gonna get all the ground rules. They're gonna tell you all the things you should know. They'll give you a paperwork with everything you should know what they plan on doing. Now, time for my room. All right, all right, it's not my room. My room is a total mess right now. So I asked for them to show me another room, similar to my room, because every room is kind of different. So I'm gonna show you this room right here, okay? So my room is exactly this particular style, except for it's a little, just a tad bit slimmer, right? It's, it's wide, just like this, it's as long as this, it's on the same floor here, um, but it's it's this one is a lot wider. Okay, my friend stayed here and he paid around 30 something bucks a night to stay here. All right, guys, so just in case you're wondering, my friend I was running around in Colombia with, he stayed in this room right here. He, he loves this couch and I don't know why it looks like that, but he said he loves the couch. Bean bag, you know, needed to say, he was living his best life, okay? His best life here. Um, as you can see, they they have a glass door. This is to help natural light come into the room, okay? But let's say you are sleeping and you just don't want that, all right? They have blackout curtains, let me show you. Nice. Uh-huh, you get it? And so they have them right here, right here, behind here. And so you can put in this one, this is one long one. And so if you want some privacy at night, you can put those down and it'll feel like nighttime here, but I, I need to light it, so I'll put this back up, okay? Out of all the different rooms they have here, I did enjoy this room because it was further down. It was a lot cooler when it, sometimes when I needed it to be, and if it needed to be hot, oh man, it could get hot if you wanted. I like the, the floor plan. It was open floor plan and only that, so when I have guests over, it, I don't have to be all cramped up. So this room is one of the rooms if you want, if you're gonna have some guests over, you want like a little leg room and space and you know, you're gonna be talking, there's a group of you guys coming in. You will enjoy the, these, this room. We already talked about the bed. The bed is gangsta, all right? The bed is gangsta. Uh, every, like I said, every room is different, but the bed is ready. Sleep ready. You will have some of the best sleep ever. Trust me, all right? Um, we'll get into more particular soon and then this is your bathroom right here and this as you can see this is the ground level That's actually The sidewalk right there so you can see stuff But if you don't want nobody to see what's going on you got your blackout curtains, all right? They work very well. All right, let's talk about particulars here They have hot they have in-house cleaning here So just in case you need something to get clean you can request it from the reception. They will bring it here, okay? Typically, they'll come twice a week to come throw trash away or, you know, change the sheets. But if you want something to change immediately, let the front desk know and they will make it happen. Basically, front desk is like your personal concierge. Uh, once you come in, they will ask if you have a Columbia number. That way, they, if there's a message they need to relate to you, they can contact you without knocking on your door. It's one of the more easiest routes um, in terms of communicating with front desk and you can use it vice versa if there's a question you need to ask really good go to the front desk we uh, would ask them to call an uber for us they had no problem doing that call us an uber so we can get to certain places and like i said they will give you recommendations on where to go if need be where to party where to eat um where to drink coffee now for a question i know everybody's gonna ask is this place guest friendly absolutely it is you can have guests anytime you want all right now from six to nine you, there's no fee you can have guests over they can come bother you but when it gets late uh, the hotel assumes that person is using some of the resources, so there is a charge, but it is a small fee. If you would like to stay here, a place with a good price, real chill place, something that you can relax, all that information is in the description. And if you wanna talk to the investor that actually invited me to stay here, his comment should be pinned in the bottom of this video, all right guys? Anyways, I wanna say thank you guys for watching all my videos here in Bogota, I have a lot of videos, so I don't know what, like all these videos are coming out at different times, all right, but I wanna say thank you. Uh, you might still see videos of me in Bogota, I'm not too sure, but uh, just know this place, I had a great time. Um, currently, 
I wanted to stay here longer, but it's getting overbooked. So I'm going to go to another place, all right? But uh, good place, good place, all right, guys? Anyway, see you in the next one, and always stay alive. Yo.